I'm Danny Ploger and I am an artist and also a cultural critic who works with technology. I'm particularly interested in technology and ideology, the way in which these things affect how we operate in our daily lives, in culture and also in politics. Over the past two years, I have particularly been looking at the way technological devices and discourses of technology are used in conjunction with borders, borders of the European Union in a very concrete way, but also maybe more in general, the border between what we consider to be culture or the urban environment and nature or maybe even some kind of idea of the, of the pre-natural. Um, and then the project that led up to what I'm doing here at Ujastowski in, in Warsaw is a work uh, that engaged with the so-called smart fence that the Hungarian government has built on their border with Serbia to keep out so-called illegal immigrants. What interested me about that is that in my opinion and in my view this use of the language and the imaginations of high technology, this fence starts to look like something that is less violent and that might even be kind of a rational technocratic object. Whereas in reality, this fence is actually 99% or let's say 97% um, old fashioned razor wire. So the projects I have worked on then took its starting point from going to that fence and triggering those alarms while I was actually stealing the barbed wire from this fence. And I made a work with this or a series of works that emphasize how this fence is on the one hand something that has now the aura of high technology, but on the other hand actually is a very material, violent and, and crude way to separate territories and space. And whereas this was looking at making a separation between various groups of people, here in Poland I'm looking at a division between urban environments and natural environments. And in the east of Poland, there is uh, one of the last primeval forests that is remaining in Europe, the Białowieża forest. This forest is on the one hand, often surrounded by a kind of promotion as this is a place where you go back in time, where you can experience nature as untouched by human intervention. And at the same time, the way this tourism then is shaped is exactly like, I would say, everything else in consumer culture. It's all around highlights and spectacular things you're going to experience there. But there's something else um, that changes the way you experience space, also in a wilderness and anywhere else in the world, and that's GPS. As a result of that, we don't really have this middle of nowhere experience anymore. Because when I go into this forest, even if I'm not looking at my phone at that moment, I'm still always aware that if I would want to, I could know exactly where I am at any time of the day, anywhere. I'm making an alternative system as part of my project here, where I use a device to generate fake GPS satellite signals and I'm sending the fake GPS coordinates of the exact geographical middle of Białowieża Forest. Which means that if you now would go to the forest when my work is up, you will see on Google Maps that you are in the exact middle of the forest, regardless of where you really are. In other words, I will create a middle of nowhere 2.0.